Hi, welcome to Yoga TX. My name is Nicole and today is all about hip openers. Um, personally, honestly speaking, I used to have pretty much a love-hate relationship with hip openers for quite some time. But then when you think about it, what you try to avoid is usually what you need most. <laughs> and um, so over time, I really got into hip openers and these days, um, they're pretty much part of my day to day. And um, yeah, I really got into them. And um, today I will guide you through a hip opening flow. I hope you will enjoy it. So when you're ready, let's come to your mat and let's give some love to our hips. So come to wide-legged child's pose. Bring your big toes together, sit back onto your heels. And then extend the arms out long in front of you. Lower the torso down towards the floor and try to connect the forehead with your floor. With the floor, not your floor. <laughs> with your inhale, breathe into the back of your body. And with your exhale, release the torso closer towards the floor. Inhale, find length in your spine. With your exhale, see if you can find a little bit more depth. Take two more cycles of breath. Start to walk your hands over to the right. Keep your forehead connected to the floor. Breathe into the left side of your body with your inhale and with your exhale. Release the torso towards the floor. Two more cycles of breath. And then walk your hands over to the left. Try to connect the forehead to the floor. Keep your hands on alignment with your shoulders. With your inhale, breathe into the right side of your body and with your exhale, see if you can find a little bit more depth. Releasing the torso towards the floor. Last cycle of breath. Walk your hands back to center. And with your inhale, come onto your fingertips so you make spider hands. Release the torso and the forehead down to the floor. Should give you an extended stretch, nice stretch in your shoulders. Bring the palms of your hands down to the floor. And then start to lift up your gaze, bring the hands closer to your torso, claw your paws, tack the toes, get ready to push through the hands, lengthen the legs, move the hips up and back into downward facing dog. Pedal it out with your feet, feel free to bring some movement into your hips. Find stillness in your down dog. Gently bend the knees, point the tailbone towards the sky. Rotate the upper arms outward. Keep your ears in alignment with your upper arms. With your next inhale, rise up onto the tiptoes. With your exhale, lower the heels and the hips over to the right. Bend into the knees, knees point to the left corner of the mat. Inhale, come back onto your tiptoes and with your exhale, lower the heels and the hips over to the left. Bend into the knees, knees point to the right corner of your mat. Inhale, come back up onto your tiptoes. And with your exhale, release the heels and the sternum towards your mat. Shake your head, say yes, no. To release any tension you might still be holding in your neck. Push through the arms, make sure you don't have any weight on your wrists. 
Step the left, sorry, step the right foot forward to the outside of your right hand and come to a lizard lunge. Keep your hands underneath the shoulders. Just try to find a little bit more depth with the hips, releasing them towards the floor. Keep your gaze in between your hands. Last cycle of breath. And then step the right leg back into your down dog. And step the left foot forward to the outside of the left hand. Casual lizard lunge on your left. Hands underneath the shoulders. With each exhale, try to release these hips a little bit closer to the floor. And reach forward through the crown of your head. One more cycle of breath. Step the left foot back and release the heels and the sternum towards your mat. And then Step the right foot forward to the outside of your right hand, followed by the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Drop the hips down and start to move your body weight over to the right and to the left. Plant the left hand on the floor. Use the left elbow to pull the left knee out. And with your inhale, bring the right arm up towards the sky. Let your gaze follow. With your next exhale, release the right hand down to the floor. Use the right elbow to gently pull the right knee out. Inhale the left arm up. Open up your chest. Exhale, release the left hand down to the floor. Push the floor away with your hands, lengthen your legs. Heel toe the feet together into standing forward fold. Keep your feet hip width apart. Keep a gentle bend in your knees. Interlace the fingers behind your back and extend the arms out long. And allow your hands to drop over your head. So you're working in your hamstrings and shoulders at the same time. Two more cycles of breath. Bend into the knees and press the feet into the floor. Rise up into a standing position. Sweep the arms up over your head, high mountain pose. Exhale, bring the hands down to your heart. Make sure that your feet are rooted into the floor. Gentle bend in your knees. Gently tuck the tailbone. Draw the lower belly towards the spine. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. With your next inhale, bend into the knees. Sweep the hands over the floor. Come into chair pose. Hug the outer shins towards each other. Activate your thighs, draw the lower belly towards the spine. Keep your gaze in between your hands. Take one more inhale, find length in your spine. With your exhale, release into standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, step both feet back into downward facing dog. Releasing the heels and the sternum towards your mat. With your next inhale, lift up your right leg. Keep your hips squared. Keep your shoulders squared. Three-legged dog. And with your exhale, step the right foot forward in between your hands. Pivot the back foot to a 90-degree ankle. Cartwheel the arms up and come to warrior two. Take a moment to align your heels. It's either heel to heel, heel to arch alignment. Keep your right knee stacked on top of your right ankle. Tuck the tailbone, draw the lower belly towards the spine. Sink low in your hips. The lower you sink in your hips, the more you will feel an activation in your right thigh. Extend the arms out long, gaze forward towards your right hand. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. With your next inhale, lengthen your right leg. Lift the hands up towards the sky. 
And with your exhale, bend into your right knee. Bring the hands down to your heart. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, bring the hands to your heart. Last round. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, bring the hands down to your heart. Open up the arms, come back into your warrior two. Catwell the arms down, frame your right foot, come to your high lunge. Bring the right hand to the inside of your right foot and heel toe the feet further out so you come back to your lizard lunge. See if you already feel a little bit more depth in your lizard lunge. Maybe you can sink these hips a little bit lower. And then get ready to pivot the back foot to a 90 degree ankle. Use your right elbow to gently pull that right knee out. Lower the hips down to the floor. And as you lower the hips down, you might notice your left foot peeling off the floor. Flex your left foot. And with your inhale, extend the left arm out long towards the sky. Let your gaze follow. Lean back into your left shoulder. Two more cycles of breath. Exhale, release the left hand down to the floor. Walk your hands around, framing your right foot. And then step the right leg back into your downward facing dog, releasing heels and sternum towards the mat. Push through the hands, feel that lengthening in your spine. With your next inhale, lift up your left leg, three-legged dog on your left. Keep your hips squared, keep the shoulders squared. And then step the left foot forward in between your hands, pivot the back foot to a 90 degree ankle and cartwheel the arms up. Warrior two on your left. Sink low with your hips, tack the tailbone, draw the lower belly towards the spine. Gaze this forward towards your left hand. Activate your arms here, really press them down towards the floor. Bring the hands together in front of your heart. With your next inhale, lengthen your left leg, bring the hands over your head. And with your exhale, bend into your left knee, bring the hands down. Two more rounds. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend into your left knee, bring the hands down to your heart. Open up into warrior two, cartwheel the arms down and frame your left foot. Bring the left hand to the inside of your left foot, heel toe the left foot a little bit out. Come into your lizard lunge on your left. Push the floor away with your hands, reach forward through the crown of your head. And then pivot the back foot, the right foot to a 90 degree ankle. Use your left elbow to pull that left knee out. And you will notice your right foot peeling off the floor. Flex your right foot. And with your inhale, extend the right arm out long towards the sky. Let your gaze follow. Open up your chest. One more cycle of breath. Exhale, release the right hand down to the floor and walk your hands framing your left foot and step the left leg back into downward facing dog, releasing the heels and the sternum towards the mat. We keep moving. With your next inhale, rise up onto the tiptoes, bend into the knees, gaze forward, start walking to the top of the mat. Come back to standing forward fold. And then sweep the hands over the floor, bend into the knees, come back into chair pose. Hack the outer shins towards each other, activate your thighs, elevate your chest, keep your gaze in between your hands. One more cycle of breath. And then push your feet into the floor, rise up high mountain pose. Exhale, bring the hands down to your heart. Release the hands down either side of your body, palms facing towards the top of the mat into Tadasana Mountain Pose. 
Take two circles of breath. And then we will make our way down to the mat. So sit down. Your feet, your toes point towards the top of the mat. Bring your hands onto the knees. Take an inhale, find length in your spine. And with your exhale, start to lower the torso down towards the floor, each vertebra at a time. Release the head, the shoulders, and the arms. Bring the left heel a little bit closer towards the sits bones. And then bring your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Flex your right foot. Interlace the fingers behind your left thigh. And start to pull the left thigh towards the torso. The more you pull that left thigh towards the torso, you will feel a stretch in your right glute muscle here. Flex both of your feet. We take two more circles of breath. Lower the left foot down to the floor. Release the interlace. Extend the arms out long into a T-shaped position. Palms facing towards the sky. With your next exhale, lower the knees over to the right. Figure four twists. Your gaze is either up towards the sky or you can also gaze to your left hand. One more cycle of breath. With your next inhale, lift the knees up and let's switch sides. So bring the right foot down to the floor. Bring the left ankle on top of your right knee. Interlace the fingers behind your right thigh. Flex both of your feet and start to pull the right side towards your torso. We take three cycles of breath. The more pressure you put, the more you will feel the stretch. Last cycle of breath. And then release the right foot down to the floor. Extend the arms out into a T-shaped position. And then allow the knees to drop over to the left. Gaze is either up towards the sky or you gaze back to your right hand. We take three cycles of breath. And then bring your knees back up and hack both of your knees into the chest, gently rocking right to left. And then either grab the outside edges of your feet or the big toes, outside edges or the big toes. I prefer the big toes. And then extend the feet out towards the sky. Happy baby pose. Give it a rock right to left. That's always the fun part. <laughs> Two more cycles of breath. And then release and hug your knees into the chest one more time, rocking right to left. And then come to Shavasana, extend your legs out long. And allow your feet, keep your feet hip width apart and allow your feet to gently drop down to either side. 
Keep your arms heavy either side of your body with the palms facing towards the sky. Bring your head in alignment with your neck. Close your eyes and connect with your breath. With each exhale, set an intention to let go. Let go of any tension you might still be holding in your body. Let go of any tension in your face. Unclench your jar. Allow your shoulders to become super heavy and melt into the floor. Let's move that relaxation further down into our body into the legs, the calves, the feet, and your toes. Connect with your breath. Focus on the motion of your inhales and exhales, and notice how they are traveling in and out of your body. Connecting with that stillness inside of you. A peaceful place. Slowly come back to your body, bring back some movement into your body, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe do some circles with your ankles and your wrists. If you feel like a morning stretch, extend the arms out long over your head. Give it a nice little stretch. Bend into the knees, connect the soles of your feet to the floor. And then roll over to either the right or the left side, whichever feels more comfortable to you. Come to our fetal position. Take a moment here. And then when you're ready, slowly make your way up. Keep your eyes closed and your gaze low. Come back to your easy cross leg position. Bring your hands onto the knees and allow the elbows to drop down towards your thighs. Just check in with your body. Notice how your body feels. Notice if there is anything coming up for you. Bring your hands together in front of the heart. Drop your chin down to your chest. Bow to your heart and your practice. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this flow. Very much appreciate your time and your space. Um, I hope your hips enjoyed it. <laughs> and um, this was Yoga TX. My name is Nicole. Hopefully I will see you again next week, Wednesday. Take care. Have a beautiful day. Bye.